Hello, my name is Alessandro Yo, and today I will be presenting Perception of Emotions in Multimodal Stimuli, the case of knocking on a door, a study conducted by Sandra Poletto and myself. The main goal of this study was to assess the effect of combining visual and auditory stimuli representing the action of knocking on a door on the perception of five basic emotional states, anger, fear, happiness, sadness, and neutral. In other words, we investigated how color, material, and texture of a door affect the perception of emotions when coupled with knocking sounds bearing different emotional intentions. We expanded on previous research we conducted in recent years and built on existing literature on the relationship between everyday sounds and emotions, colors and emotions, materials and textures and emotions. This research can increase our understanding of the relationship between multimodal representations of everyday actions and the emotional impact they have on an audience. This is relevant for media industries, such as cinema, gaming, and advertising, that use sound and images as storytelling tools. First, we conducted a pre-study to explore the effects of different visual characteristics, namely color, material, and texture of a door on the perception of five basic emotional states. The aim was to use the results of this study in conjunction with findings from research on color and emotions, as well as materials and textures and emotions, to select five doors most strongly associated with the five basic emotions studied here. These five images of doors would then be used in a subsequent audiovisual experiment. The stimuli used in the pre-study were 32 images of closed doors rendered digitally, combining eight colors selected among the most studied in previous research with four material and texture combinations. In the subsequent audiovisual experiment, we combined images selected from the pre-study stimuli with knocking sounds recorded by a professional foreign artist, which were rated in a previous study to be strongly associated with the five emotions under consideration. The aim of the experiment was to investigate how audio and visual modalities carrying both congruent and non-congruent emotional information contribute to the overall perception of emotions in the audiovisual stimuli. More specifically, the five images selected were combined with six sound clips, one for anger, fear, happiness, and sadness, but two for the neutral state, as we wanted to see if the emotion associated with the image could have a bigger effect on the overall emotional perception when the sound emotion was weak. Overall, we had a total of 30 stimuli. Here's an example of stimulus representing a red wooden door of intermediate texture coupled with a happy knocking sound. Both experiments were carried out as online surveys created and distributed on the Cytokip platform. In the pre-study, for each image, participants were asked to indicate which emotional state the image evoked, as well as the color and material and texture combination of the door. This was done to ensure that visual characteristics were perceived correctly, despite the fact that researchers had no control over the display. Responses from uh, 18 participants 11 of whom were female and seven male, were collected in this experiment. In the audiovisual experiment, for each clip, participants were asked to select the emotional state evoked among the five under investigation. We had 35 participants, 15 of whom were female and 20 male. Across the two surveys, all the stimuli were randomized and all options in a single choice question were presented in a randomized order to avoid order effect. Colors and materials were always correctly recognized by participants, while the texture of the doors was sometimes confused. In particular, the intermediate texture was occasionally confused with the smooth or the rough texture when considering the wooden material. We also found significant relationships between door color and perceived emotional state. Through Z-test pairwise comparisons, we were able to find significance in the association of each emotional state with the number of colors. For example, anger was significantly associated with red, blue, and yellow. You can see in the graph below the distribution of the responses across the five emotional states involved. Combining this result with those of previous studies on the association between colors and emotions, we selected the five images of doors most strongly associated with each emotion to be used in the audiovisual experiment. You can see the list down here. As for remaining experiment in our study, we found significant relationships between the intended emotion of the knocking sound, 
that is the emotion each sound was associated with in our previous studies, and the overall perceived emotional state. We also found no statistically significant difference between anger and fear, a result that confirms the findings of our previous work on knocking sounds. You can see in the graph on the left how responses across the emotional states are distributed. At the same time, we found no significant association between the intended emotion of the door image and the emotions evoked by the stimulus. Additionally, the intended emotion of the door did not come through more strongly when paired with a neutral knocking sound. Finally, congruence between the intended emotions in the two modalities did not result in a significantly stronger emotional perception. However, congruent stimuli tend to have a higher number of responses. This might indicate the existence of a small effect which a larger study might be able to detect. In summary, uh, results from the pre-study support conclusions from previous literature on the relationship between colors and emotions. High arousal emotions are, are often matched with, uh, with the warmer colors like red and yellow or highly saturated colors. Additionally, while associations between single emotions and a few colors were detected, no exclusive one-to-one -one associations between emotional states and the colors could be found. This confirms that the relationship between uh, uh, colors and emotions is complex and dependent on many factors. From the results of the audiovisual experiment, we have found that in the context of representing a knocking action on a door, the oral modality seems to drive the perceived emotional state and has a greater impact than the visual characteristics of the door represented. We hypothesize that this could be due to the different implied sources of the audio and visuals, respectively. While a knocking sound would usually imply the presence of a human capable of experiencing emotions as it serves, uh, the color and material of a door are features of an inanimate object that does not experience emotions. We therefore suggest that in this case, the emotion behind the human action here portrayed by the audio modality, bears more importance for the listener than the emotion evoked by the door. This might support the idea that in media industries such as cinema and gaming, such sound production by Foley artists has a greater impact on the storytelling experience than usually thought, and that perhaps more resources could be spent in this area. Further work could involve a different set of visual characteristics of the door, uh, focus on the impact of immersive environments on the perception of emotions or employ a wider range of emotions than, than the ones we consider here. All these different directions could help us understand how different aspects of an audiovisual artifact can impact on the perception of emotions in an audience. Thank you for the attention. We are available for questions in the following Q&A session.